Happy to have you alongside to what should be a fantastic football showcase. The home team are hosting here and want to be able to keep the home field advantage going as we get ready for this one. Chris, what is the key in this matchup? Well, Gus, I think you said it best, home field advantage. This team needs to come out and rally early to get the fans on their side. If you have thousands of fans screaming and cheering, you feed off of that and you can turn it into some positive stuff on the field. This should be a great game in this one. All right, Chris, and with that in mind, time to get this one going. We are ready for the NFL on EA Sports right now. Ryan has the ball all teed up, and he looks ready to get this game underway. He makes it out to the 20. Number 37 was there for the stop. They'll set up shop at the 20. And we'll have a first down and 10. Dumps it out right. All he needs is one hand. Harris brings in his 40th catch of the season. from their own 24-yard line. Has a man short to his left. He's tackled around the 28-yard line by Clayton. The play fake gave the big tight end a chance to gain a little separation there, and the quarterback did a nice job of finding him with the pass. Third down now. They'll need a couple of yards to convert for a first down. The halfback with the carry. Number 31. It appears to be short. Fourth down. The home team lining up to punt. Tate fields it at the 26. Knocked out of bounds at the 48-yard line. He did a good job there finding a seam and getting up the field. You know, a lot of people don't realize that being a punt returner or a kick returner is one of the toughest jobs in the NFL. There's a whole lot of things that could go wrong and only a few that can really go right. Flips it out short to his left. He's brought down at about the 41 by Jenkins. First down, 10 to go. And he just throws this one out of bounds.
They line it up at the 41. He's wrestled down right around the 40-yard line by Finley. They have it at the 40. Loads it up. Looking end zone. Number 80 was the intended receiver on the play. So, it's fourth down. Looks like they'll kick it away here as the punt. The offense will take over at the 20-yard line. First down and 10. Webster gives it up the middle. Number 31 on the run. No game. On their own 20-yard line. Short throw to the right. Intercepted. Is he going to score? Watch out. Touchdown. Wow, he closed on the ball quickly and came up with the interception. Yeah, he took a risk going for the ball there because he didn't have any help behind him. But when you're that good at closing and attacking the ball, you can certainly afford to gamble occasionally. And it's amazing what talent will let you get away with. Reed adds the extra point. Get your money, whip your head, executive branch, like a player, kid in the club, yes, it cracks. Cute little mama, but they stack with backs. That's what's up. You win doggy world, come and join my son. Ryan gets ready to kick it away. Number 27 stands back to field the kick. Camps under it. He will start from his own five. This offense will have to quickly forget their misfortune and try to turn it around on this series. They'll get the ball here at the 19-yard line. Now we have a first down and 10 to go. Looking for the screen. He's got room. The quarterback is having some success with this matchup. What do you see here, Chris? Well, after a big game like that, the quarterback may try to target this guy for really the rest of the game. It'll be interesting to see how this matchup progresses now that he's found a bit of an opening. It's first and 10. The ball is on their own 40.
handoff up the middle. He's dropped down around the 42-yard line by Randall. So the Rock sits at the 42. Ops for a short throw. The pass falls incomplete. Third down coming up after that incomplete pass. And third down, seven yards to go. Ball on their own 42. Has a man to his right. He's loose and running strong. And we'll have a first down and 10. Ball is on the 47. Takes a shot deep to the right. He was off the mark there, wasn't he? And that's kind of a rare sighting. You're talking about one of the most accurate deep passers in the NFL. It's now second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 47-yard line. Ingram gets it on the counter. And he's tackled around the 37-yard line by Clayton. First down, 10 to go. Passes out to his right. He's tackled at about the 23-yard line by number 30. They line up at the 23. Looks left. Here's a short pass. They line it up at the 22. Passes short right side. He's brought down around the 12-yard line by Watson. Short yardage situation here. They'll need a little less than a yard to convert. They'll throw for the first. It's knocked down. Excellent play by the defender. The defender gets a hand on it, and that will bring up fourth down. Well, at the end of the game, you go back and you basically say what happened on third down, and you have a pretty good indication of how that game came out. Good play by the defense. They'll call on the field goal unit here. And the kick is good. Wow. 
And with that, the score is the home team. Three, the visiting team. Seven. Pickett will be kicking off. Tate is deep, looking to return the kickoff. Here we go. He'll return it from the four-yard line. He gets this one to the 26-yard line. Harper was there to bring him down. Injury timeout. He looks to have hurt his wrist. They'll start this drive at the 26-yard line. First down and 10. Number eight with the toss. Did you see how fast that linebacker was on that one? Not only did he recognize it, but when he did recognize it, he had the explosiveness to get there. from their own 24-yard line. It's a loose ball. The home team has the football. Yeah, I had one coach tell me one time that if you really want to get an attaboy on this defense, you have to strip that ball out and recover it. It's not enough to just get it out. They'll start at the 23-yard line. Now we have a first down and 10 to go. Dumps it out left. He's going to be tackled for a loss. No gain on that completion. No gain on the play. That'll make it second down with 10 to go. The pigskin is on the 23-yard line. Ingram, the ball carry. He's wrestled down at about the 9-yard line by Clayton. First down and goal. He's dropped down around the eight-yard line by Young. The offense sets up eight yards away from the end zone here. Short pass to his left. He crosses the goal line. Touchdown! 
I remember when fullbacks used to look more like offensive guards out there. Now you got guys that can catch it and run it in for the touchdown. What a play. Trying to go up by three, they'll kick the extra point. Pickett tacks on the extra point. The home team is just about ready to kick this one away. Tate is back to receive the kick. And he'll return this one from the seven. He stopped at the 24-yard line. Bennett was there for the stop. They'll set up shop at the 24-yard line. It's first and ten. He's tackled around the 26-yard line by Finley. We've got second and nine yards to go. Throws the deep pass. Right through his hands. He almost had the pick. They can't hook up on that pass. Now the offense will be facing third down. They're looking at third and nine. And they get to it. Got to think they'll punt it away here in this situation. No point in taking any chances when you're on the wrong side of the field like this. Fourth down. They'll line up to punt this one away. Number 17 will take it at the 35. You know, I like that return. Nothing flashy, but it was really effective. The thing I hate to see are guys that are dancing around back there trying to be a playmaker when they're really not at least he got up the field, got a few yards. That's what I like to see. Ingram takes a handoff. Power running. There he goes. He's knocked out of bounds at the 17. Offense with the first and ten following the big run. Passes out to the left. 
Makes the grab. No signal yet. We'll see what they rule. They rule it incomplete. He just missed coming down with a great catch there. Dumps it out right. It's picked off. And that was the second time he's been picked off this half. Well, we're going to find out how mentally tough this quarterback is because when you get off to a shaky start like that, sometimes it's tough to piece everything back together again. And we'll have a first down and 10. Looks right, throws. He's tackled around the 30-yard line by number 33. From their own 30-yard line. We've played a quarter, and our score, the home team, 10. The visiting team, 7. He's brought down around the 41-yard line by number 33. First down, 10 to go. Ball on their own 41. It's a quarterback sack. Number eight, taken down for a sack. Seven yard loss on the play. Obvious passing situation here on second and long. False start, offense. A lot of movement down Repeat. there on the offensive line. Odom is guilty of moving early. That penalty will bring up a second and long situation. Passes it over the middle of the field. He's wrestled down at about the 35-yard line by Jenkins. They'll need 15 on this third down to move the chains. Here's a pass over the middle. Tipped, and he brings it in for the catch. What concentration. Hakeem Nix brings in his 40th catch of the season. Fourth down. And the punt unit onto the field to kick it away. He angles it out of bounds at the 10. 
Sometimes a punter can be the most underrated weapon on a football team. You keep giving other offenses long fields and long drives that they have to convert, that can really help your football team. Hands off. He's got room up the middle. He's dropped down around the 19-yard line by number 59. Only a yard needed to convert here on second down. There's a flag on the play. And he's tackled at about the 21 by number 99. It's a second and 11 situation here. So the ball on the 10-yard line. They give it off here. He's tackled at about the 11 by number 59. And looking at a third and six right here. Has a man out to his right. He's brought down at about the 25-yard line by number 30. First down and 10. Ball on their own 25. Ingram, left side. He's wrestled down right around the 26-yard line by Young. They go from their own 26-yard line. Flips it out short to his left. Knocked out of bounds at the 29-yard line. That play was really made by the coverage down the field in the secondary. Forced the quarterback to go to the check down throw, and then they came up and made the tackle. Third down once again. Let's see if they can convert this one. Has a man to his right. Too close to call. Here comes the chain game. No, he didn't get there, and it's going to be fourth down. It's fourth down. The home team ready to punt this one away. On the return, it's loose! I don't care what the coach's age is, that'll make your heart skip a beat. Uh, you never want to give up a possession like that. Now we have a first down and 10 to go. Handoff on the draw. 
He's dropped down around the 24-yard line by number 41. It's now second and nine. Straight up the middle, got room! And he's tackled around the 37-yard line by number 20. It's first and ten. Ball on their own 37. Number eight gives it left. Tries to juke the defender, and he will be tackled. from their own 38-yard line. Tucks and runs. He's free. The defense has been all over him today, so it looks like he's going to try to make some plays with his feet. Yeah, he definitely looks rattled out there, and that's not to say that this guy can't run, but a quarterback should really be thinking pass first and using the run when the opportunity is there. And we'll have a first down and 10. Scrambles for positive yards. Boy, in that kind of situation, you just think that if they're gonna pick up the first down on you, they're gonna have to do it throwing the football. But that time the quarterback got out in the open field and got it done. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 36. Knocks over a defender, and he's still going. He's tackled around the 21-yard line by Dixon. First down and 10. Ball on the 21-yard line. Makes the throw over the middle. He's brought down at about the five-yard line by number 41. They'll set this one up inside the five. Five yards to the goal line. Number eight with the toss. He's wrestled down just outside the goal line by Hardy. And so we've reached the two-minute warning.
That brings up second down and goal. Two minutes to go in the half. He's going to run with it. And it just adds so much to an offense if you have a quarterback that can make plays with his feet. Nice run that time. Reed adds the extra point to make it a four-point game. Ryan looks ready to kick it away. Number 17 stands back to field the kick. And he'll return this one from the seven. Gets to about the 24 before going down. Number 50 was there for the stop. They'll set up shop at the 24-yard line. Now we have a first down and 10 to go. Let's it go deep. Stewart was his intended target. The intended receiver on the play. Second down. They'll face second down and 10. Looking. Fires it to the left. There he goes. He's got get away from the cop speed. Well, how do you defend this guy? Because if you try to get up on him, he simply runs by you at that great speed. If you play off of him, give him the ball in the open field, you see the results. Trying to go up by three, they'll kick the extra point. Pickett makes it a three-point game. The home team will be kicking off. Number 10 is deep, looking to return the kickoff. Collects it at the seven. He makes it to the 22. Cobb was there to bring him down. The offense will take over at the 22-yard line. It's first and 10. Short throw to the left. He's dropped down around the 31-yard line by Neal. Snap decision to throw the ball there, but it was the right read and perfect timing. That frustrates the heck out of a defense. They'll hurry back to the line.
He goes down. Sack. Fourth down. And the punt team is on the field looking to kick this one away. On the return. He fumbles it. I don't care what the coach's age is. That'll make your heart skip a beat. Eh, you never want to give up a possession like that. And we'll have a first down and 10. Short throw to the right. And he's tackled right around the 46-yard line by Watson. from their own 46-yard line. Throws to his left. And when you get a wide receiver with that kind of talent on the outside, he is a threat to take it all the way on any play. He rolls out to his right. Comes down with it. Touchdown. Not only did he have great zip on that one, but that was right on the money. It's one thing to have the big arm, but if you're not accurate, you don't get the big payoffs like we just saw there. And the point after is good. It. Yeah, it's ready to kick it away. Number 10 is back to receive the kick. He'll start at the eight yard line. He makes it out to about the 27 yard line. Harper was there for the stop. The offense will start at the 27 yard line. First down, 10 to go. Hands it to the back. And you love to see those linebackers playing downhill like that. Not just flowing sideline to sideline, but attacking and trying to get in the backfield. And it's second and 12 yards to go. False start. 
Offense. They might have missed time to snap on that. Down. Odom is guilty of moving early. That penalty will bring up a second and long situation. Number 29 gets the ball. Uses a stiff arm, but the defender is still able to drop him. Gate of two. We played a half of football, and our score is the home team, 24. The visiting team, 14. And he'll return this one from the seven. He stopped at the 24-yard line. Number 58 was there to bring him down. They'll start this drive at the 24-yard line. First down and 10. Number 29 takes a handoff. Just about three yards there. Now they're facing second and seven. Flips it out short to his left. He's tackled around the 39-yard line by Dixon. And so far in this one, as you can see, this player has been the impact performer of the game so far. Now we have a first down and 10 to go. Number 29 will run it again. Gets five on the run. It's now second and five.
They tackle him for a loss. And if you can make a running back hesitate just a little, that time you could see there really was no hole and the running back was just fishing for a place to go. It's now third and six on their own, let's say 43. He's going to run for it, and he's got her own. Boy, in that kind of situation, you just think that if they're going to pick up the first down on you, they're going to have to do it throwing the football. But that time, the quarterback got out in the open field and got it done. It's first and 10. Ball on the 44-yard line. Number 29 on the give. Number 29, with the carry. Game of one. It's now second and nine. He's brought down at about the 37 yard line by Hardy. Third down now, they'll need about three yards to convert for a new set of downs. Scott gets the carry. He's wrestled down around the 34-yard line by Jenkins. The field goal unit is on the field. He splits the uprights. He just showed off his incredible leg strength there. What a kick. Wow. Can you believe he made that one? <laughs> That's my expert analysis there. Wow. Ryan is just about ready to kick this one away. Number 27 stands back to field the kick. He'll take it from the two. He makes it out to the 20. Williams was there for the stop. They'll start at the 20. And we'll have a first down and 10. Running out of time. They fall on it. Well, one thing for sure, the ball's not going to stay free on that field for very long. Defensively, they were all over that one. They'll go to work at the 11. First down, 10 to go. It's a gain of three. Three-yard gain on the play. So they'll need seven for the score.
Dumps it out left. Has it on the sideline, but was he inbound? The officials will huddle. Yes, he did make the catch. Really nice effort along that sideline. What a great example of body control and little finesse. It's a quarterback sack. They call on the field goal unit. It's up and it's good. The kick is good. Ryan looks ready to kick it away. Number 17 is deep, looking to return the kickoff. And he'll return it from way back at the three. He returns to the 26. Number 59 was there to bring him down. They'll set up shop at the 26-yard line. First down and 10. Throws to his right. And he's running with a purpose now. He's got get away from the cop speed. Well, how do you defend this guy? Because if you try to get up on him, he simply runs by you with that great speed. If you play off of him, give him the ball in the open field, you see the results. Pickett adds the extra point. The home team is ready to kick this one off. Number 10 is back to receive the kick. Caught at the 8. Gets to the 31-yard line. Bennett was there for the stop. The offense will take over at the 31. Now we have a first down and 10 to go. He's going to his right. Throws. They picked it off. And there's no question they were sitting on that one. That is one of the bread and butter pass plays of this offense. They've been working against it all week. And that was a special little trick there that came up with the interception. It's first and 10. Ball's on the 41. He needs to get rid of it. Number seven, ball carry. Seven yard loss on the play.
Now in a second and long following the sack. Passes out to his right. Hit as he caught it. And he's able to hang on to it. And looking at a third and six right here. Passes short right side. Caught and dropped immediately. And a loss of a couple on the completed pass. That play was really all about defensive pursuit. They saw the ball thrown. They got there quickly for a loss on the play. Fourth down. The home team are lining up to punt this one away. You would have to think that this is where they need to make something happen in order to get back into this one. They'll get the ball here at the 20-yard line. And we'll have a first down and 10. He's looking towards the left side. You know, it's really easy to overlook those big guys on the line, but they did a good job picking up the blitz. Yeah, that's a great call because when you get a blitz package like that and your offensive line can, first of all, figure it out and then get it blocked, it's very tough to cover one-on-one -on -one in the secondary. And from their own 34-yard line, Looks right, throws. Well, it's always great to have a big arm, but you have to be able to control it on occasion. He wants to consistently throw that ball hard, and that's just not always the right pass. Second down and seven yards to go. Hands it to the back. And it's a fumble. He scoops it up. Well, there's really never a good time for a fumble, but you can tell that he just got sloppy with that football. He broke down on his fundamentals, and he gave it up. The offense will start at the 31. First down, 10 to go. A lot of movement down there on the offensive line. Robinson is guilty of moving early. First down, 15 to go, following the penalty. It's the tailback. He's dropped down around the 33-yard line by number 91. They line the ball up at the 33. They're going to pitch it. And he's tackled around the 31-yard line by number 50. Gain of two on the play. They're facing a third and ten. Looking for a man. Moves up, and the defense has him. Sack. Number seven. We need some attention. Big things today, baby. Big things today, Loss of six.
So after the sack, it's now fourth down and long. And this is a great opportunity to get back into this ball game. This offense needs to put a nice drive together right now. They'll take over at the 20. First down and 10. Has a man to his right. He's tackled around the 25-yard line by Finley. Number 86 catches it for a gain of five. And from their own 25-yard line. Number eight with the give. The coach can't be happy with him after that fumble. Priority number one has to be hanging on to the ball, right, Chris? Yeah, I guess it's so true. No team wants to give their opponent the chance to get a takeaway on a fumble, and I'm sure the coach will have a few choice words for him. You can bet the next time he touches that ball, he's going to be hanging on tight. And it looked like someone on the offensive line jumped. Fuller is guilty of moving early. So the penalty makes it first and 15. Has a man out to his right. Right through his hands. He almost had the pick. Number 24 was the intended receiver. They'll go from their own 32-yard line. Number eight, hands off. Two-yard pickup. That brings up third and 13. Ball on their own 34. And that's the end of the quarter. Our score in this one is the home team, 31. The visiting team, 20. for a short throw. He's brought down around the 41-yard line by Jenkins. On their own 41-yard line. Number 17 fields it at the 22. The stop was made by Tate. The trainers are going to assist him off the field, so not a very good sign there, but hopefully he's okay.
They'll start this drive at the 24-yard line. Now we have a first down and 10 to go. Ingram on the delay. He's wrestled down around the 28-yard line by Randall. Second and five coming up here. Ball on their own 28. They tackle him for a loss. For me, there's nothing more impressive in football than to see a cover cornerback able to come up and make the stops on the run. That's a complete football player. We've got a third and six. Ball on their own 28. Ingram gets it on the draw. And that was a poor series for this offense. Yeah, the defense barely had to even break a sweat on that one. Defensively, when you can take an offense and get them off the field in three plays, that's pretty good stuff. So, it's fourth down. The home team are lining up to punt it away. Number 10 starts running at the 32. That was really a good effort. There wasn't a ton of room for him to run, but he was able to get up the field, get a few yards, you never get upset with a punt return guy like that. It wasn't spectacular, but he got the job done. They'll go to work at the 38. It's first and 10. Number 29 takes the delayed handoff. Sure doesn't look like he's running with the same explosiveness that we usually see out of him. Yeah, and I think that that fumble he had earlier has changed his approach. You can see him really trying to cover up the ball more, and you can't run like that in the NFL. Under pressure, he felt the heat that time and was forced to throw it away quickly. Third down and 13 yards to go. They're on their own 35. Has a man short to his left. He's dropped down around the 39-yard line by Neal. Fourth down. And the punt unit onto the field to kick it away. He takes the ball at the 20. And the tackle was made by White. You know, I like that return. Nothing flashy, but it was really effective. The thing I hate to see are guys that are dancing around back there trying to be a playmaker when they're really not... At least he got up the field, got a few yards. That's what I like to see. Flips it out short to his left. And he's tackled at about the 39-yard line by number 30. And we'll have a first down and 10. Pitch out. 
Stiff arms, and he's brought down. Three yards there. Second and seven situation here. He found some daylight. He's tackled at about the 49 yard line by Williams. First down, 10 to go. Brought down behind the line. If you want to be considered one of the top cornerbacks in the National Football League, everybody has to be able to cover. But the top guys can not only cover, but come up and make big hits like that. Tremendous play. Second down and a long 12. Ball on their own 49. Takes off with it, and he's in the clear. He's brought down at about the 41 by Hill. Third down now. They'll need a couple of yards to convert for a first down. And looks left, throws. And the pass will fall incomplete. Fourth down coming up. I don't know if that's the guy I want to pick on on third down when you have to have a conversion. He is tough. It's fourth down. The home team lining up to punt. As they come back onto the field, what are your thoughts on what they should do here to get back into this game? They'll set up shop at the 20-yard line. First down and 10. False start. Offense. They might have missed time to snap on that one. Odom is guilty of moving early. So they'll face a first and 15 after the penalty. Rolls to his right. He's got room. Rumble, young man, rumble. That was a great example of what a guy with speed can do for your football team. He hauled it in and goodbye. Well, they will go for two here. Throws to his right. The defender tips it away. And they really missed an opportunity there. 
You know, I like the call. I have no problem with that. But if you're going to try and throw the football down here, the better option is to really try and sell that play action and then get the pass off. They just didn't get it sold there. Ryan is ready to kick this one off. Number 27 is deep, looking to return the kickoff. And it's fielded at the four. Ryan was there for the stop. Might have an injury down on the field. They'll start at the 32-yard line. Now we have a first down and 10 to go. Looking to his left. He's going deep. And they can't complete the first down pass attempt. Second down coming up. So they'll face a second and ten. Looks right. Throws. Nearly picked off. He should have had that one. Number 87 was the intended receiver on the play. That brings up third and ten. He's going deep with it. Boy, no question. That's one he would like to have back. That's really the strength of his game, those deep throws. It's fourth down. The home team line up to punt. Number 10 will start his return to the 24. Returns it to about the 32. Cobb was there to bring him down. The offense will take over at the 32-yard line. It's first and 10. Feeds it to the back. He's wrestled down around the 38-yard line by number 20. And just about four yards away here on second down. He takes off. He's dropped down right around the 42 yard line by number 58.
That'll make it third down. The offense needs about three feet for the first. Fullback handoff. And he's tackling around the 44-yard line by Cooper. And we'll have a first down and 10. Ball on their own, 44. Short throw to the right. He's tackled right around the 48-yard line by number 87. It's second down and six. False start, offense. Someone jumped Redeemed early down there. Down. Fuller is guilty of moving early. It's a second and 11 situation here. On their own, let's say 43. He gets another carry. He's brought down right around the 46-yard line by Dixon. It's third down now and just about the length of the football away from the first down marker. Takes it right up the gut and he's got room to run. Yeah, the offensive line did their job. They created enough of a seam to get him up into the secondary and then he was able to explode from there. And they line up at the 28. Dumps it out right. He's wrestled down at about the 27. By number 92. And terrible. It's now second and nine. There are two minutes to go in this football game. Running out of time. Effective blitzing can really destroy an offensive game plan because you're so used to having time to develop plays down the field. Now you come with a good blitz and the quarterback just doesn't have time to get it off. And I always find it surprising that tight ends typically don't get drafted very high, but when you think about the skill set, they have to be able to block like a tackle and catch like a wide receiver. Passes short right side. He's dropped down right around the 10-yard line by number 33. Ten yards away from the end zone. He's dragged down on the play. They go to their hurry up offense. Still looking for an open man. Fires a laser down the middle. This one will be on the offense, and if there was ever a time you don't want a penalty, this is it. Number 55 gets called for the hold. Well, a familiar situation for this offense as they'll attempt to convert yet another third down.
Wants the end zone. And the pass was knocked away at the last minute. Just terrific play by the defense. They followed the quarterback's eyes, made a quick jump on the ball, and were all over that one. And it appears that the coach will keep his offense out there. Throws it deep to the end zone. It looks like he was able to bring it down in bounds. They'll discuss it. It's ruled a catch. And this conversion will put them up by a field goal. He's looking towards the left side. Defense stops him. Two-point conversion fails. That seemed like the right call to go for two. Yeah, I like the call. I wasn't too crazy about the play call itself. Typically, in that situation, you have a specific play against a specific team that you have great confidence in, and that one just didn't look very special. Ryan will be kicking off. Number 27 stands back to field the kick. Taken from the three-yard line. He gets out to about the 22-yard line. Number 37 was there for the stop. They'll go to work at the 22-yard line. First down, 10 to go. Loads up, looking to his right. Well, you have to admire his courage. He's not afraid to make any throw, any time, anywhere, but he's lucky that one wasn't picked off. That'll make it second down with 10 to go. So they have the ball on their own 21. He's going to run with it. Boy, in that kind of situation, you just think that if they're going to pick up the first down on you, they're going to have to do it throwing the football. But that time, the quarterback got out in the open field and got it done. First down and 10. Ball on their own 36. They're going for the home run. Number seven has his pass ball incomplete. Second down. It's now second down, 10 yards to go. Has a man to his right. Yeah, that sets it up now for third down. We always talk about third down conversions, but if you have good second down plays, it gives you a chance to get into some blitz packages now on third down. 
The defender gets a hand on it, and that will bring up fourth down. Well, at the end of the game, you go back and you basically say what happened on third down, and you have a pretty good indication of how that game came out. Good play by the defense. Looks like they're going for it here on fourth down. He rolls out to his right. Incomplete. Turnover on downs. Big fourth down play by the defense that time, and now the pressure shifts to the other defense to try and make a play. They'll get the ball here at the 39-yard line. Now we have a first down and 10 to go. He takes a knee. The home team will take their final timeout. Brings up second down and about 12 yards to go. Ball on the 41-yard line. They go with the kneel down. That's going to wrap up the action. Highlights are straight ahead. And let's take a look at the Gatorade Performer of the Game. 